All right, YouTube. This is Seth Don Four. If you don't know me, I'm online fitness coach, martial artist. You name it, you got it. My last video, I did an instruction on how to do the triangle with the nunchuck. Um, I'm gonna teach you like a basic um, inside parry with a combination drill that you can do for uh, boxing or karate, whatever you want to call it, um, in my system, in Chief Kent Kwan. Uh, basically, my style is basically where it's more of a defense system uh, than it's more of a defense and offensive system. But the way I do, I wait for my opponent to attack. And once my opponent attacks, I'm more of the aggressor when it comes to attacking. Um, that's usually when I wait for the opponent to strike first. Then I end up. Um, Okay, I'll move out of the way, and then I'll strike, strike, bam, and I'll just do a front kick. Again, if somebody throws a punch, move out of the way, pivot, strike, strike, bam, front kick to the groin, or solar plexus. Alright, somebody throws a punch, if you're doing this solo, if you're doing this solo training, um, it's always good to do it slow, that way you kind of get the feel of it, once you end up doing it slow, you get the feel of it, then you can work your speed up to get better at it, again, on how I practice to pivot, to move out of the way, is when I see a punch coming, same thing applies with a kick, and uh, I can move out of the way with a kick too. Counter. Boom. Same thing. But we're not worried about the kicks just right now. We're more worried about the punches. So when you're doing punch, somebody comes in at a punch. Imagine a punch is coming at you. Block. Punch. Punch. Front kick. Again, same thing with the other side. Block. Punch. Punch. Front kick. I'm gonna do it ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you know it's how I kind of speed it up there toward the end. Well, once you get good at it, get good at that technique. Here's another one. Same thing applies to when somebody throws, let's say, a front kick. Usually that's what they usually do when they, or a push kick. From what time, you know? They'll end up sweeping it. Boom, boom. And then they'll go in and grab the neck or the shoulder. And then they'll knee. Same thing applies to the other side. Again, it's going to be block, pivot, strike, strike, grab shoulder, knee. Same thing on the other side. Pivot. Pivot. Again. 
Pivot. Again, there's three. Or it could be, it could be a, a push out of the way, grab, punch, punch, grab, and then strike. Again. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I've used that counter, this motion for evading. I've used it so many times. It's like I said, and so many times in fights. It does work. You've got to know the timing of when somebody throws a kick and before it lands, you don't even really have to move. You can just barely just redirect it, direct the blow like that and make it more like a, a, a lock. Some of some type on the ankle and then turn around and make them go down into the splits if you have or you can just do this and then punch punch and then maybe if you wanted to you can go in for a leg sweep but that would be another video um but as like i said This one could be, first one was block, evade, punch, punch, front kick. And then this one, the other one was evade, punch, punch, grab by on the shoulder and the neck for support. And then bam, knee. A little self-defense training that you can do some basic technique, basic drills, you can do anywhere. Um, you can even do that blocking or evading push with the kick. Um, you can do it with a traditional walk as well. Um, I'll show you this one. It'll be the same thing on what I did with the parry. Um, it'll be like this. So Bam. On. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. There we go. So it'd be it'd be block, punch, punch, reverse punch, reverse punch, knee strike. Again, it'd be pivot, block, low block, strike, strike, and then grab for support for the knee strike. You know, you can be creative with your striking ability when it comes to um, training in any style of martial arts. Um, that's the reason why I like shadow boxing. Because it helps you kind of be creative into your arsenal. Um, but that's all for now. Please hit the like and subscribe. Sorry about the little mess up on the footwork. Um, that girl is still kind of somewhat new to me. I learned it today. 
uh, about one of my books that I've been reading on, and I'm still kind of learning on, on it a little bit, and so it's like, um, it's a new strategy, a new way of thinking, especially when you're, when you're, when you're in a fighting stance, you know, you're, you're fighting, you're trying to work on, on that pivot. Same thing with the other side. And I'll move it, move it, move it out, move it in and out of the way, you know, of a, an ongoing forced attack. Basically it's for redirecting the blow. Um, I learned it off of a movie as well called, uh, the old TV series called Kung Fu, um, with David Carradine in it. Um, back in the 80s, not in the 80s and 60s era, um, David Carradine asked, well, what do you do with on Kung Force? Well, you just step out of the way and redirect it. You know, basically it makes sense. You know, you redirect the force that is coming onto you when being applied. Um, that's the only way I can think of on how to really describe it. And there you have it, Sip Dog Order Online Coaching Fitness. And I just want to say, um, please subscribe to my channel. Please, you know, help my channel out a lot. Um, more instructional videos in the future. So, like I said, I'm still kind of new at this instructional thing. Um, just work with me, you know, I'll get better at it as I go along. Um, but like I said, just please hit the like, subscribe, and, you'll get, and hit the bell notification. You'll get every one of my videos. Stay safe. Have a good holidays and peace.